Kathmandu, Nepali, Kathmadom, Nepal, Barsa, Yeye, Nepali pronunciation, Kamau, is the capital and largest city of Nepal, with a population of around 1 million. Kathmandu is also the second largest metropolis in term of area after Pokhara in hilly region. Nepali and Nepal Basha are the most spoken languages in the city. Kathmandu, also known as City of Temples. With one of the oldest pagoda known as Pashupatinath Temple, stands at an elevation of approximately 1,400 meters (4,600 feet) above sea level in the bowl-shaped Kathmandu Valley in central Nepal. The valley is historically termed as Nepal Mandala and has been the home of Nepali people, a cosmopolitan urban civilization in the Himalayas foothills. The city was the royal capital of the Kingdom of Nepal and hosts palaces, mansions, and gardens of the Nepalese aristocracy. It has been home to the headquarters of the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation since 1985. Today, it is the seat of government of the Nepalese Republic established in 2008, and is part of the province number no. 3 in Nepalese administrative geography. Kathmandu is and has been for many years the center of Nepal's history, art, culture, and economy. It has a multi-ethnic population within a Hindu and Buddhist majority. It is also the home of the Newars. Religious and cultural festivities form a major part of the lives of people residing in Kathmandu. Tourism is an important part of the economy. In 2013, Kathmandu was ranked third among the top ten upcoming travel destinations in the world by TripAdvisor, and ranked first in Asia. The city is the gateway to the Nepalese Himalayas, and home to seven World Heritage Sites, the Durba Squares of Hanuman Doka, Patan and Bhaktapur, the Stupas of Swayambunath and Bordanath, and the temples of Pashupati and Chungu Narayan. There are also seven casinos in the city. Historic areas of Kathmandu were severely damaged by a 7.8 magnitude earthquake on 25 April 2015. Some of the buildings have been restored and some are in the process of reconstruction. Etymology Indigenous Nawari term for Kathmandu Valley is Ye. The Pahari name Kathmandu comes from Kastamandap temple, that stood in Durba Square. In Sanskrit, Kastar Sanskrit, Kastha means wood, and Mandapa Sanskrit, Mandapa means pavilion. This public pavilion, also known as Maru Sada, in the newer language, was rebuilt in 1596 by Bizath in the period of King Laxmi Narsingh Mala. The three-story structure was made entirely of wood and used no iron nails nor supports. According to legend, all the timber used to build the pagoda was obtained from a single tree. The structure collapsed during a major earthquake on 25 April 2015. The colophons of ancient manuscripts, dated as late as the 20th century, refer to Kathmandu as Kastamandap Mahangar in Nepal Mandala. Mahangar means, Great City. The city is called, Kastamandap, in a vow that Buddhist priests still recite to this day. Thus, Kathmandu is also known as Kastamandap. During medieval times, the city was sometimes called Kantipur. Kantipur. This name is derived from two Sanskrit words, Kanti and Pur. Kanti is a word that stands for beauty and is mostly associated with light and pur means place, thus, giving it a meaning as city of light. Among the indigenous Nua people, Kathmandu is known as Yem Deza, Yem Deza and Patan and Bhaktapur are known as Yala Deza, Yala Deza and Kwopa Deza, Kavapa Deza. Yen is the shorter form of Yombu, Yombu which originally referred to the northern half of Kathmandu. The older northern settlements were referred to as Yambi while the southern settlement was known as Yangala. The spelling, Kathmandu, was often used in older English language text. More recently, however, the spelling, Kathmandu, has become more common in English. History Archaeological excavations in parts of Kathmandu have found evidence of ancient civilizations. The oldest of these findings is a statue, found in Malagaon, that was dated at 185 AD. The excavation of Dando Chaitya uncovered a brick with an inscription in Brahmi script. Archaeologists believe it is 2,000 years old. Stone inscriptions are a ubiquitous element at heritage sites and are key sources for the history of Nepal. The earliest Western reference to Kathmandu appears in an account of Jesuit fathers Johann Gruber and Albert Dorville. In 1661, they passed through Nepal on their way from Tibet to India, and reported that they reached 
Kadmandi, the capital of Nepal Kingdom. Topic: <laughs> Ancient History. The ancient history of Kathmandu is described in its traditional myths and legends. According to Swayambhu Purana, present-day Kathmandu was once a huge and deep lake named Nagdaha, as it was full of snakes. The lake was cut drained by Bodhisattva Manjusri with his sword, and the water was evacuated out from there. He then established a city called Manjupatan, and made Dharmaka the ruler of the valley land. After some time, a demon named Banashore closed the outlet, and the valley again turned into a lake. Then Lord Krishna came to Nepal, killed Banashore, and again drained out the water. He brought some Gopals along with him and made Bukhtaman the king of Nepal. Kotirudra Samhita of Shiva Purana, Chapter 11, Shloka 18 refers to the place as Nayapala city, which was famous for its Pashupati Shivalinga. The name Nepal probably originates from this city Nayapala. Very few historical record exists of the period before medieval Lichavis rulers. According to Gopalraj Vansawali, a genealogy of Nepali monarchy, the rulers of Kathmandu Valley before the Lichavis were Gopalas, Mahispalas, Arbiyas, Kirants, and Somavanshi. The Karata dynasty was established by Yalamba. During the Karata era, a settlement called Yombu existed in the northern half of Old Kathmandu. In some of the Sino-Tibetan languages, Kathmandu is still called Yombu. Another smaller settlement called Yengal was present in the southern half of Old Kathmandu, near Manjupatan. During the reign of the seventh Karata ruler, Jatadasti, Buddhist monks entered Kathmandu Valley and established a forest monastery at Sankhu. <laughs> Lichavi era The Lichavis from the Indo Gangetic plain migrated north and defeated the Karatas, establishing the Lichavi dynasty, circa 400 AD. During this era, following the genocide of Shakyas in Lumbini by Virudaka, the survivors migrated north and entered the forest monastery Laura masquerading as Collius. From Sankhu, they migrated to Yombu and Yengal and, and established the first permanent Buddhist monasteries of Kathmandu. This created the basis of newer Buddhism, which is the only surviving Sanskrit-based Buddhist tradition in the world. With their migration, Yombu was called Kologram and Yengal was called Dakshin Kologram during most of the Lichavi era. Eventually, the Lichavi ruler Gunakamadeva merged Kologram and Dakshin Kologram, founding the city of Kathmandu. The city was designed in the shape of Chandrarasa, the sword of Manjushri. The city was surrounded by eight barracks guarded by Ajimas. One of these barracks is still in use at Badrakali in front of Singa Durba. The city served as an important transit point in the trade between India and Tibet, leading to tremendous growth in architecture. Descriptions of buildings such as Managriya, Kailaskat Bhawan, and Badraduas Bhawan have been found in the surviving journals of travelers and monks who lived during this era. For example, the famous 7th century Chinese traveler Shanzang described Kailaskat Bhawan, the palace of the Lichavi king Amshuvama. The trade route also led to cultural exchange as well. The artistry of the newer people, the indigenous inhabitants of the Kathmandu Valley became highly sought after during this era, both within the valley and throughout the greater Himalayas. Newer artists traveled extensively throughout Asia, creating religious art for their neighbors. For example, Araniko led a group of his compatriot artists through Tibet and China. Brakuti, the princess of Nepal who married Tibetan monarch Songsen Gampo, was instrumental in introducing Buddhism to Tibet. Mala era The Lichavi era was followed by the Mala era. Rulers from Tirhut, upon being attacked by Muslims, fled north to the Kathmandu Valley. They intermarried with Nepali royalty, and this led to the Mala era. The early years of the Mala era were turbulent, with raids and attacks from Khas and Turk Muslims. There was also a devastating earthquake which claimed the lives of a third of Kathmandu's population, including the king Abaya Mala. These disasters led to the destruction of most of the architecture of the Lichavi era such as Mangriya and Kailashkat Bhawan, and the loss of literature collected in various monasteries within the city. Despite the initial hardships, Kathmandu rose to prominence again and, during most of the Mala era, dominated the trade between India and Tibet. Nepali currency became the standard currency in trans-Himalayan trade. During the later part of the Mala era, Kathmandu Valley comprised four fortified cities, Kantipur, Lalitpur, Bhaktapur, and Kurdipur. These served as the capitals of the Mala Confederation of Nepal. 
These states competed with each other in the arts, architecture, aesthetics, and trade, resulting in tremendous development. The kings of this period directly influenced or involved themselves in the construction of public buildings, squares, and temples, as well as the development of waterspouts, the institutionalization of trusts called guthis, the codification of laws, the writing of dramas, and the performance of plays in city squares. Evidence of an influx of ideas from India, Tibet, China, Persia, and Europe among other places can be found in a stone inscription from the time of King Pratap Mala. Books have been found from this era that describe their tantric tradition, e.g. Tantrakayan, medicine, e.g. Haramekala, religion, e.g. Muldevshishidev, law, morals, and history. Amarkosh, a Sanskrit Nepal Basa dictionary from 1381 AD, was also found. Architecturally notable buildings from this era include Kathmandu Durba Square, Patan Durba Square, Bhaktapur Durba Square, the former Durba of Kirtipur, Nyatapala, Kumbeshwar, the Krishna Temple, and others. Topic: Modern Era. Topic: <inaudible> Early Shah Rule. The Gorkha Kingdom ended the Mala Confederation after the Battle of Kathmandu in 1768. This marked the beginning of the modern era in Kathmandu. The Battle of Kurdipur was the start of the Gorkha conquest of the Kathmandu Valley. Kathmandu was adopted as the capital of the Gorkha Empire, and the empire itself was dubbed Nepal. During the early part of this era, Kathmandu maintained its distinctive culture. Buildings with characteristic Nepali architecture, such as the nine-story tower of Basantapur, were built during this era. However, trade declined because of continual war with neighboring nations. Bimson Tapa supported France against Great Britain, this led to the development of modern military structures, such as modern barracks in Kathmandu. The nine-story tower Darahara was originally built during this era. Topic: <inaudible> Rana rule. Rana rule over Nepal started with the Kot massacre, which occurred near Hanuman Doka Durba. During this massacre, most of Nepal's high-ranking officials were massacred by Jang Bahadur Rana and his supporters. Another massacre, the Bandakal massacre, was also conducted by Kunwar and his supporters in Kathmandu. During the Rana regime, Kathmandu's alliance shifted from anti-British to pro-British, this led to the construction of the first buildings in the style of Western European architecture. The most well-known of these buildings include Singa Durba, Garden of Dreams, Shital Niwas, and the old Narayanhiti Palace. The first modern commercial road in the Kathmandu Valley, the New Road, was also built during this era. Trichandra College, the first college of Nepal, Durba School, the first modern school of Nepal, and Burr Hospital, the first hospital of Nepal, were built in Kathmandu during this era. Rana rule was marked by despotism, economic exploitation, and religious persecution. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geography. Kathmandu is in the northwestern part of the Kathmandu Valley to the north of the Bagmati River and covers an area of 50.7 square kilometers, 19.6 square miles. The average elevation is 1400 meters, 4600 feet above sea level. The city is bounded by several other municipalities of the Kathmandu Valley, south of the Bagmati by Lalitpur Metropolitan City Patan, with which it forms one urban area surrounded by a ring road, to the southwest by Kurdipur Municipality and to the east by Madhyapur Thimi Municipality. To the north the urban area extends into several village development committees. However, the urban agglomeration extends well beyond the neighboring municipalities, e.g. to Bhaktapur, and nearly covers the entire Kathmandu Valley. Kathmandu is dissected by eight rivers, the main river of the valley, the Bagmati and its tributaries, of which the Bishnumati, Dobi Kola, Manohara Kola, Hanumante Kola, and Tukucha Kola are predominant. The mountains from where these rivers originate are in the elevation range of 1,500 to 3,000 meters 4,900 to 9,800 feet, and have passes which provide access to and from Kathmandu and its valley. An ancient canal once flowed from Nagarjuna Hill through Balaju to Kathmandu, this canal is now extinct. Kathmandu and its valley are in the deciduous monsoon forest zone altitude range of 1,200 to 2,100 meters 3,900 to 6,900 feet, one of five vegetation zones defined for Nepal. The dominant tree species in this zone are oak, elm, beech, maple and others, with coniferous trees at higher altitude.
Topic: <laughs> Kathmandu administration. Kathmandu and adjacent cities are composed of neighborhoods, which are utilized quite extensively and more familiar among locals. However, administratively the city is divided into 32 wards, numbered from 1 to 32. Earlier, there were 35 wards which made it the metropolitan city with the largest number of the wards. <laughs> Kathmandu agglomeration There is no officially defined agglomeration of Kathmandu. The urban area of the Kathmandu Valley is split among three different districts collections of local government units within a zone, which extend very little beyond the valley fringe, except towards the southern ranges, which have comparatively small population. They have the three highest population densities in the country. Within these three districts lie VDCs villages, 20 municipalities and two metropolitan municipality Mahanagapalika, Kathmandu and Lalitpur. The following data table describes these districts which likely would be considered an agglomeration. Topic climate Five major climatic regions are found in Nepal. Of these, Kathmandu Valley is in the warm temperate zone elevation ranging from 1,200 to 2,300 meters 3,900 to 7,500 feet, where the climate is fairly temperate, atypical for the region. This zone is followed by the cool temperate zone with elevation varying between 2100 and 3300 meters, 6900 and 10800 feet. Under Köppen's climate classification, portions of the city with lower elevations have a humid subtropical climate (CWA), while portions of the city with higher elevations generally have a subtropical highland climate. In the Kathmandu Valley, which is representative of its valley's climate, the average summer temperature varies from 28 to 30 degrees Celsius 82 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. The average winter temperature is 10.1 degrees Celsius 50.2 degrees Fahrenheit. The city generally has a climate with warm days followed by cool nights and mornings. Unpredictable weather is expected, given that temperatures can drop to 1 degree Celsius 34 degrees Fahrenheit or less during the winter. During a 2013 cold front, the winter temperatures of Kathmandu dropped to minus 4 degrees Celsius 25 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lowest temperature was recorded on 10 January 2013, at minus 9.2 degrees Celsius 15.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Rainfall is mostly monsoon-based about 65% of the total concentrated during the monsoon months of June to August, and decreases substantially 100 to 200 centimeters 39 to 79 in from eastern Nepal to western Nepal. Rainfall has been recorded at about 1,400 mm in for the Kathmandu Valley, and averages 1,407 mm in for the city of Kathmandu. On average humidity is 75%. The chart below is based on data from the Nepal Bureau of Standards and Meteorology, Weather Meteorology for 2005. The chart provides minimum and maximum temperatures during each month. The annual amount of precipitation was 1,124 mm in for 2005, as per monthly data included in the table above. The decade of 2000–2010 saw highly variable and unprecedented precipitation anomalies in Kathmandu. This was mostly due to the annual variation of the southwest monsoon. For example, 2003 was the wettest year ever in Kathmandu, totaling over 2,900 mm in of precipitation due to an exceptionally strong monsoon season. In contrast, 2001 recorded only 356 mm in of precipitation due to an extraordinarily weak monsoon season. Air quality. Air pollution is a major issue in Kathmandu. According to the 2016 World Health Organization's Ambient Air Pollution Database, the annual average PM2.5 concentration in 2013 was 49 micrograms per cubic meter, which is 4.9 times higher than recommended by the World Health Organization, for annual average PM2.5. Starting in early 2017, the Nepali government and U.S. Embassy have monitored and publicly share real-time air quality data. Economy The location and terrain of Kathmandu have played a significant role in the development of a stable economy which spans millennia. The city is in an ancient lake basin, with fertile soil and flat terrain. 
This geography helped form a society based on agriculture. This, combined with its location between India and China, helped establish Kathmandu as an important trading center over the centuries. Kathmandu's trade is an ancient profession that flourished along an offshoot of the Silk Road which linked India and Tibet. From centuries past, Lhasa newer merchants of Kathmandu have conducted trade across the Himalaya and contributed to spreading art styles and Buddhism across Central Asia. Other traditional occupations are farming, metal casting, wood carving, painting, weaving, and pottery. Kathmandu is the most important industrial and commercial center in Nepal. The Nepal Stock Exchange, the head office of the National Bank, the Chamber of Commerce, as well as head offices of national and international banks, telecommunication companies, the Electricity Authority, and various other national and international organizations are in Kathmandu. The major economic hubs are the New Road, Durba Marg, Asan, and Putali Sadak. The economic output of the metropolitan area alone is worth more than one third of national GDP, around $6.5 billion in terms of nominal GDP near, S550 billion approximately per year, $2,200 per capita income, approx three times national average. Kathmandu exports handicrafts, artworks, garments, carpets, pashmina, paper, trade accounts for 21% of its finances. Manufacturing is also important and accounts for 19% of the revenue that Kathmandu generates. Garments and woolen carpets are the most notable manufactured products. Other economic sectors in Kathmandu include agriculture 9%, education 6%, transport 6%, and hotels and restaurants 5%. Kathmandu is famous for lokta paper and pashmina shawls. Topic tourism Tourism is considered another important industry in Nepal. This industry started around 1950, as the country's political makeup changed and ended the country's isolation from the rest of the world. In 1956, air transportation was established and the Tribhuvan Highway, between Kathmandu and Raksol at India's border, was started. Separate organizations were created in Kathmandu to promote this activity, some of these include the Tourism Development Board, the Department of Tourism and the Civil Aviation Department. Furthermore, Nepal became a member of several international tourist associations. Establishing diplomatic relations with other nations further accentuated this activity. The hotel industry, travel agencies, training of tourist guides, and targeted publicity campaigns are the chief reasons for the remarkable growth of this industry in Nepal, and in Kathmandu in particular. Since then, tourism in Nepal has thrived. It is the country's most important industry. Tourism is a major source of income for most of the people in the city, with several hundred thousand visitors annually. Hindu and Buddhist pilgrims from all over the world visit Kathmandu's religious sites such as Pashupatinath, Swayambunath, Budanath, Changunaran and Budanilkantha. From a mere 6,179 tourists in 1961–62, the number increased to 491,504 in 1999–2000. Following the end of the Maoist insurgency, there was a significant rise of 509,956 tourist arrivals in 2009. Since then, tourism has improved as the country turned into the Democratic Republic. In economic terms, the foreign exchange registered 3.8% of the GDP in 1995–96 but then started declining. The high level of tourism is attributed to the natural grandeur of the Himalayas and the rich cultural heritage of the country. The neighborhood of Thamel is Kathmandu's primary travelers' ghetto, packed with guest houses, restaurants, shops, and bookstores, catering to tourists. Another neighborhood of growing popularity is Jamel, a name for Jim Shakil that was coined to rhyme with Thamel. Jokhan Toll, also known as Freak Street, is Kathmandu's original traveler's haunt, made popular by the hippies of the 1960s and 1970s, it remains a popular alternative to Thamel. Asan is a bazaar and ceremonial square on the old trade route to Tibet, and provides a fine example of a traditional neighborhood. With the opening of the tourist industry after the change in the political scenario of Nepal in 1950, the hotel industry drastically improved. Now Kathmandu boasts several luxuries such as the Hyatt Regency, Dwarikas, Thiak and Yeti, the Everest Hotel, Hotel Radisson, Hotel de Lanapurna, the Mala Hotel, Shangri-La Hotel which is not operated by the Shangri-La Hotel Group and the Shankar Hotel. There are several four-star hotels such as Hotel Vaishali, Hotel Narayani, the Blue Star and Grand Hotel. The Garden Hotel, Hotel Ambassador, and Aloha Inn are among the three-star hotels in Kathmandu. Hotels like Hyatt Regency, the Lanapurna, and Hotel Yak and Yeti are among the five-star hotels providing casinos as well. Topic: 
Government and public services Civic administration Kathmandu Municipal Corporation is the chief nodal agency for the administration of Kathmandu. The municipality of Kathmandu was upgraded to incorporated in 1994. Metropolitan Kathmandu is divided into five sectors, the central sector, the east sector, the north sector, the city core and the west sector. For civic administration, the city is further divided into 35 administrative wards. The council administers the metropolitan area of Kathmandu city through its 177 elected representatives and 20 nominated members. It holds biannual meetings to review, process and approve the annual budget and make major policy decisions. The wards profile documents for the 35 wards prepared by the Kathmandu Metropolitan Council is detailed and provides information for each ward on population, the structure and condition of houses, the type of roads, educational, health and financial institutions, entertainment facilities, parking space, security provisions, etc. It also includes lists of development projects completed, ongoing and planned, along with informative data about the cultural heritage, festivals, historical sites and the local inhabitants. Ward 16 is the largest, with an area of 437.4 hectares, Ward 26 is the smallest, with an area of 4 hectares. Kathmandu is the headquarters of the surrounding Kathmandu district. The city of Kathmandu forms this district with Kurdipur municipality and some 57 village development committees. According to the 2001 census, there are 235,387 households in the metropolitan city. Law and order The Metropolitan Police is the main law enforcement agency in the city. It is headed by a commissioner of police. The Metropolitan Police is a division of the Nepal Police, and the administrative control lies with the National Home Ministry. Fire service The fire service, known as the Barun Yantra Karailaya, opened its first station in Kathmandu in 1937 with a single vehicle. An iron tower was erected to monitor the city and watch for fire. As a precautionary measure, firemen were sent to the areas which were designated as accident-prone areas. In 1944, the fire service was extended to the neighboring cities of Lalitpur and Bhaktapur. In 1966, a fire service was established in Kathmandu Airport. In 1975, a West German government donation added seven fire engines to Kathmandu's fire service. The fire service in the city is also overlooked by an international non-governmental organization, the Firefighters Volunteer Association of Nepal which was established in 2000 with the purpose of raising public awareness about fire and improving safety. <laughs> Electricity and water supply Electricity in Kathmandu is regulated and distributed by the Ni Nepal Electricity Authority. Water supply and sanitation facilities are provided by the Kathmandu Upachaka Karnapani Limited There is a severe shortage of water for household purposes such as drinking, bathing, cooking and washing and irrigation. People have been using bottled mineral water, water from tank trucks and from the ancient Dungadharas for all the purposes related to water. The city water shortage should be solved by the completion of the much-plagued Melamchi water supply project by the end of 2019. <laughs> Waste management Waste management may be through composting in municipal waste management units, and at houses with home composting units. Both systems are common and established in India and neighbouring countries. Demographics Kathmandu's urban cosmopolitan character has made it the most populous city in Nepal, recording a population of 671,846 residents living in 235,387 households in the metropolitan area, according to the 2001 census. According to the National Population Census of 2011, the total population of Kathmandu city was 975,543 with an annual growth rate of 6.12% with respect to the population figure of 2001. 
70% of the total population residing in Kathmandu are aged between 15 and 59. Over the years the city has been home to people of various ethnicities, resulting in a range of different traditions and cultural practices. In one decade, the population increased from 427,045 in 1991 to 671,805 in 2001. The population was projected to reach 915,071 in 2011 and 1,319,597 by 2021. To keep up this population growth, the KMC controlled area of 5,076.6 hectares acres has expanded to 8,214 hectares 20, acres in 2001. With this new area, the population density which was 85 in 1991 is still 85 in 2001, it is likely to jump to 111 in 2011 and 161 in 2021. Ethnic groups The largest ethnic groups residing in Kathmandu metropolitan city consists of primarily Nua 24%, Kas Brahmins 25%, Chetras 18%, Tamangs 11%, while the rest 12% are occupied by Hill Janahartis including Kirat, Gurung, Magar, Sherpa etc., Terai Janahartis like Tharis along with various ethnicities within the Madesi of 15% community. More recently, other hill ethnic groups and caste groups from Terai have come to represent a substantial proportion of the city's population. The major languages are Nepali and Nepal Basa, while English is understood by many, particularly in the service industry. According to data from 2011, the major religions in Kathmandu city are Hinduism 81.3%, Buddhism 9%, Muslim 4.4% and other 5.2%. The linguistic profile of Kathmandu underwent drastic changes during the Shah dynasty's rule because of its strong bias towards the Hindu culture. Sanskrit language therefore was preferred and people were encouraged to learn it even by attending Sanskrit learning centers in Terai. Sanskrit schools were specially set up in Kathmandu and in the Terai region to inculcate traditional Hindu culture and practices originated from Nepal. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Architecture and cityscape. The ancient trade route between India and Tibet that passed through Kathmandu enabled a fusion of artistic and architectural traditions from other cultures to be amalgamated with local art and architecture. The monuments of Kathmandu city have been influenced over the centuries by Hindu and Buddhist religious practices. The architectural treasure of the Kathmandu Valley has been categorized under the well-known seven groups of heritage monuments and buildings. In 2006 UNESCO declared these seven groups of monuments as a World Heritage Site the seven monuments zones cover an area of 189 hectares 470 acres, with the buffer zone extending to 2,394 hectares 5 acres. The seven monument zones MZs inscribed originally in 1979 and with a minor modification in 2006 are Durba squares of Hanuman Doka, Patan and Bhaktapur, Hindu temples of Pashupatinath and Changunaran, the Buddhist stupas of Swayambhu and Budanath. Topic. Durba squares The literal meaning of Durba square is a place of palaces. There are three preserved Durba squares in Kathmandu Valley and one unpreserved in Kurdipur. The Durba square of Kathmandu is in the old city and has heritage buildings representing four kingdoms Kantipur, Lalitpur, Bhaktapur, Kurtipur. The earliest is the Lichavi dynasty. The complex has 50 temples and is distributed in two quadrangles of the Durba square. The outer quadrangle has the Kastamandap, Kamari Gar, and Shiva Pavadi Temple, the inner quadrangle has the Hanuman Doka Palace. The squares were severely damaged in the April 2015 Nepal earthquake. Hanuman Doka is a complex of structures with the royal palace of the Mala kings and of the Shah dynasty. It is spread over five acres. The eastern wing, with ten courtyards, is the oldest part, dating to the mid-16th century. It was expanded by King Pratap Mala in the 17th century with many temples. The royal family lived in this palace until 1886 when they moved to Narayanhiti Palace. The stone inscription outside is in 15 languages. Kamari Gar is a palace in the center of the Kathmandu city, next to the Durba Square where a royal Kamari selected from several Kumaris resides. 
Kamari, or Kamari Devi, is the tradition of worshipping young pre-pubescent girls as manifestations of the divine female energy or Devi in South Asian countries. In Nepal the selection process is very rigorous. Previously, during the time of monarchy, the queen and the priests used to appoint the proposed Kamari with delicate process of astrological examination and physical examination of 32 gunas. The China, an ancient Hindu astrological report, of the Kamari and the reigning king was ought to be similar. Kamari is believed to be the bodily incarnation of the goddess Talaju the Nepali name for Durga until she menstruates, after which it is believed that the goddess vacates her body. Serious illness or a major loss of blood from an injury are also causes for her to revert to common status. The current Kamari, Trishna Shakya, age 3 at the time of appointment, was installed in September 2017 succeeding Matina Shakya who was the first Kamari of Kathmandu after the end of monarchy. Kastamandap is a three-storied temple enshrining an image of Goraknath. It was built in the 16th century in pagoda style. The name of Kathmandu is a derivative of the word Kastamandap. It was built under the reign of King Laxmi Narsingamala. Kastamandap stands at the intersection of two ancient trade routes linking India and Tibet at Maru Square. It was originally built as a rest house for travelers. <laughs> Pashupatinath Temple The Pashupatinath Temple is a famous 5th century Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Shiva Pashupati. On the banks of the Bagmati River, Pashupatinath Temple is the oldest Hindu temple in Kathmandu. It served as the seat of national deity, Lord Pashupatinath, until Nepal was secularized. However, a significant part of the temple was destroyed by Mughal invaders in the 14th century and little or nothing remains of the original 5th century temple exterior. The temple as it stands today was built in the 19th century, although the image of the bull and the black four-headed image of Pashupati are at least 300 years old. The temple is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Shivaratri, or the Night of Lord Shiva, is the most important festival that takes place here, attracting thousands of devotees and sadhus. Believers in Pashupatinath mainly Hindus are allowed to enter the temple premises, but non-Hindu visitors are allowed to view the temple only from the across the Bagmati River. The priests who perform the services at this temple have been Brahmins from Karnataka, South India since the time of Mala King Yakshamala. This tradition is believed to have been started at the request of Adi Shankaracharya who sought to unify the states of Bharatam a region of the South Asia believed to be ruled by a mythological king Bharat, by encouraging cultural exchange. This procedure is followed in other temples around India, which were sanctified by Adi Shankaracharya. The temple is built in the pagoda style of architecture, with cubic constructions and carved wooden rafters on which they rest, and two level roofs made of copper and gold. Budanath The Budanath also written as Budanath, Bodnath, Bordanath or the Kasa Chaitya, is one of the holiest Buddhist sites in Nepal, along with the Swayambhu. It is a very popular tourist site. Budanath is known as Kashti by Nuas and as Bodha or Bodnath by speakers of Nepali. About 11 kilometers 7 miles from the center and northeastern outskirts of Kathmandu, the stupa's massive mandala makes it one of the largest spherical stupas in Nepal. Budanath became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. The base of the stupa has 108 small depictions of the Jnani Buddha Amitabha. It is surrounded with a brick wall with 147 niches, each with four or five prayer wheels engraved with the mantra, Om Mani Padme Hum. At the northern entrance where visitors must pass is a shrine dedicated to Ajima, the goddess of smallpox. Every year the stupa attracts many Tibetan Buddhist pilgrims who perform full body prostrations in the inner lower enclosure, walk around the stupa with prayer wheels, chant, and pray. Thousands of prayer flags are hoisted up from the top of the stupa downwards and dot the perimeter of the complex. The influx of many Tibetan refugees from China has seen the construction of over 50 Tibetan gompas monasteries around Budanath. Swayambu. Swayambu is a Buddhist stupa atop a hillock at the northwestern part of the city. This is among the oldest religious sites in Nepal. Although the site is considered Buddhist, it is revered by both Buddhists and Hindus. The stupa consists of a dome at the base, above the dome, there is a cubic structure with the eyes of Buddha looking in all four directions. There are pentagonal tauran above each of the four sides, with statues engraved on them. Behind and above the tarana there are thirteen tiers. 
Above all the tears, there is a small space above which lies a gadja. Topic: <laughs> Rani Pokhari. Ranapokhari, which is translated as Queen's Pond, is a historic artificial pond that nestled in the heart of Kathmandu. It was built by King Pratap Mall in 1670 AD for his beloved queen after she lost her son who couldn't recover from her loss. A large stone statue of an elephant in south signifies the image of Pratap Mala and his two sons. Balgopaleshwar Temple stands still inside the temple above the pond. Rani Pokhari is opened once a year during the final day of Tihar i.e. by Tika and Chut festival. The world largest Chut takes place every year in Ranapokhari. The pond is one of Kathmandu's most famous landmarks and is known for its religious and aesthetic significance. Topic: Culture. Topic: Arts. Kathmandu Valley is described as an enormous treasure house of art and sculptures which are made of wood, stone, metal, and terracotta, and found in profusion in temples, shrines, stupas, gompas, chaitayasam and palaces. The art objects are also seen in street corners, lanes, private courtyards and in open ground. Most art is in the form of icons of gods and goddesses. Kathmandu Valley has had this art treasure for a very long time, but received worldwide recognition only after the country opened to the outside world in 1950. The religious art of Nepal and Kathmandu in particular consists of an iconic symbolism of the mother goddesses such as Bhavani, Durga, Gaha Lakshmi, Harati Satala, Masashamadini, Saptamatrika, seven mother goddesses, and Sri Lakshmi, wealth goddess. From the 3rd century BCE, apart from the Hindu gods and goddesses, Buddhist monuments from the Ashokan period it is said that Ashoka visited Nepal in 250 BC have embellished Nepal in general and the valley in particular. These art and architectural edifices encompass three major periods of evolution, the Lichavi or Classical period 500 to 900 AD, the Post-Classical period 1000 to 1400 AD, with strong influence of the Pala art form, the Mala period 1400 onwards that exhibited explicitly Tantric influences coupled with the art of Tibetan demonology. A broad typology has been ascribed to the decorative designs and carvings created by the people of Nepal. These artists have maintained a blend of Hinduism and Buddhism. The typology, based on the type of material used are, stone art, metal art, wood art, terracotta art, and painting. Museums Kathmandu is home to a number of museums and art galleries, including the National Museum of Nepal and the Natural History Museum of Nepal. Nepal's art and architecture is an amalgamation of two ancient religions, Hinduism and Buddhism. These are amply reflected in the many temples, shrines, stupas, monasteries, and palaces in the seven well-defined monument zones of the Kathmandu Valley are part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This amalgamation is also reflected in the planning and exhibitions in museums and art galleries throughout Kathmandu and its sister cities of Patan and Bhaktapur. The museums display unique artifacts and paintings from the 5th century CE to the present day, including archaeological exportation. Kathmandu museums and art galleries include the National Museum The Natural History Museum Hanumanthoka Palace Complex The Kaiser Library The National Art Gallery The NEF Art Nepal Fine Art Gallery The Nepal Art Council Gallery Narajanhati Palace Museum The Tarragaon Museum The National Museum is in the western part of Kathmandu near the Swayambhunath Stupa in an historical building this building was constructed in the early 19th century by General Bimson Tapa. It is the most important museum in the country, housing an extensive collection of weapons, art and antiquities of historic and cultural importance. The museum was established in 1928 as a collection house of war trophies and weapons, and the initial name of this museum was Chauni Silkhana, meaning, the Stone House of Arms and Ammunition. Given its focus, the museum contains many weapons, including locally made firearms used in wars, leather cannons from the 18th 19th century, and medieval and modern works in wood, bronze, stone, and paintings. The Natural History Museum is in the southern foothills of Swayambunath Hill and has a sizable collection of different species of animals, butterflies, and plants. 
The museum is noted for its display of species, from prehistoric shells to stuffed animals. The Tribuvan Museum contains artifacts related to the King Tribuvan (1906–1955). It has a variety of pieces, including his personal belongings, letters and papers, memorabilia related to events he was involved in, and a rare collection of photos and paintings of royal family members. The Mahendra Museum is dedicated to King Mahendra of Nepal (1920–1972). Like the Tribhuvan Museum, it includes his personal belongings such as decorations, stamps, coins, and personal notes and manuscripts, but it also has structural reconstructions of his cabinet room and office chamber. The Hanumanthoka Palace, a lavish medieval palace complex in the Durba, contains three separate museums of historic importance. These museums include the Barendra Museum, which contains items related to the second last monarch, Barendra of Nepal. The enclosed compound of the Narajanhiti Palace Museum is in the north central part of Kathmandu. Narajanhiti comes from Narayana, a form of the Hindu god Lord Vishnu, and Hiti, meaning water spout. Vishnu's temple is opposite the palace, and the water spout is east of the main entrance to the precinct. Narajanhati was a new palace, in front of the old palace built in 1915, and was built in 1970 in the form of a contemporary pagoda. It was built on the occasion of the marriage of King Barenda Bur Bikram Shah, then heir apparent to the throne. The southern gate of the palace is at the crossing of Prithvipath and Darba Marg roads. The palace area covers 30 hectares 74 acres and is fully secured with gates on all sides. This palace was the scene of the Nepali royal massacre. After the fall of the monarchy, it was converted to a museum. The Tarragaon Museum presents the modern history of the Kathmandu Valley. It seeks to document 50 years of research and cultural heritage conservation of the Kathmandu Valley, documenting what artists, photographers, architects and anthropologists from abroad had contributed in the second half of the 20th century. The actual structure of the museum showcases restoration and rehabilitation efforts to preserve the built heritage of Kathmandu. It was designed by Karl Prusa, master planner of the Kathmandu Valley, in 1970 and constructed in 1971. Restoration works began in 2010 to rehabilitate the Tarragon Hostel into the Tarragon Museum. The design uses local brick along with modern architectural design elements, as well as the use of circle, triangles, and squares. The museum is within a short walk from the Budnath Stupa, which itself can be seen from the museum tower. Topic. Art galleries Kathmandu is a centre for art in Nepal, displaying the work of contemporary artists in the country and also collections of historical artists. Patan in particular is an ancient city noted for its fine arts and crafts. Art in Kathmandu is vibrant, demonstrating a fusion of traditionalism and modern art, derived from a great number of national, Asian, and global influences. Nepali art is commonly divided into two areas, the idealistic traditional painting known as Porbhas in Nepal and perhaps more commonly known as Thangkas in Tibet, closely linked to the country's religious history and on the other hand the contemporary Western-style painting, including nature-based compositions or abstract artwork based on tantric elements and social themes of which painters in Nepal are well noted for. Internationally, the British-based charity, the Kathmandu Contemporary Art Centre is involved with promoting arts in Kathmandu. Kathmandu contains many notable art galleries. The NAFA Gallery, operated by the Arts and Crafts Department of the Nepal Academy is housed in Sita Bhavan, a neoclassical old Rana Palace. The Srijana Contemporary Art Gallery, inside the Brakutamandap Exhibition Grounds, hosts the work of contemporary painters and sculptors, and regularly organises exhibitions. It also runs morning and evening classes in the schools of art. Also of note is the Moti Azima Gallery, in a three-storied building in Bimzanthan which contains an impressive collection of traditional utensils and handmade dolls and items typical of a medieval newer house, giving an important insight into Nepali history. The J Art Gallery is also in Kathmandu, near the Royal Palace in Durbarmarg, Kathmandu and displays the artwork of eminent, established Nepali painters. The Nepal Art Council Gallery, in the Babar Mahal, on the way to Tribhuvan International Airport contains artwork of both national and international artists and extensive halls regularly used for art exhibitions. <laughs> <laughs> Literature The National Library of Nepal is in Patan. It is the largest library in the country with more than 70,000 books. English, Nepali, Sanskrit, Hindi, and Nepal Basa books are found here. The library is in possession of rare scholarly books in Sanskrit and English dating from the 17th century AD. 
Kathmandu also contains the Kesha Library, in the Kesha Mahal on the ground floor of the Ministry of Education building. This collection of around 45,000 books is derived from a personal collection of Kesha Shamsha Jang Bahada Rana. It covers a wide range of subjects including history, law, art, religion, and philosophy, as well as a Sanskrit manual of Tantra, which is believed to be over 1,000 years old. The 2015 earthquake caused severe damage to the Ministry of Education building, and the contents of the Kaiser Library have been temporarily relocated. The Asa archives are also noteworthy. They specialize in medieval history and religious traditions of the Kathmandu Valley. The archives, in Kulambulu, have a collection of some 6,000 loose-leaf handwritten books and 1,000 palm-leaf manuscripts mostly in Sanskrit or Nepal Basa and a manuscript dated to 1464. <laughs> 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 Cinema and theatre Kathmandu is home to Nepali cinema and theatres. The city contains several theatres, including the National Dance Theatre in Kanti Path, the Ganga Theatre, the Himalayan Theatre and the Rroan Theatre Group founded in 1982. The M Art Theatre is based in the city. The Gurukul School of Theatre organises the Kathmandu International Theatre Festival, attracting artists from all over the world. A mini theatre is also at the Hanuman Hoka Durba Square, established by the Durba Conservation and Promotion Committee. Kathmandu has a number of cinemas old single-screen establishments and some new multiplexes showing Nepali, Bollywood, and Hollywood films. Some old establishments include Vishwajyoti Cinema Hall, Jainapal Hall, Kamari Cinema Hall, Gopi Krishna Cinema Hall and Guna Cinema Hall. Kathmandu also houses some international standard cinema theatres and multiplexes, such as QFX Cinemas, Cine de Chef, FCUBE Cinemas, Q Cinemas Big Movies, BSR Movies etc. Topic. Music Kathmandu is the center of music and dance in Nepal, and these art forms are integral to understanding the city. Musical performances are organized in cultural venues. Music is a part of the traditional aspect of Kathmandu. Gunla is the traditional music festival according to Nepal Sambat. Newer music originated in Kathmandu. Furthermore, music from all over Nepal can be found in Kathmandu. A number of hippies visited Kathmandu during the 1970s and introduced rock and roll, rock, and jazz to the city. Kathmandu is noted internationally for its jazz festival, popularly known as Jazzmandu. It is the only jazz festival in the Himalayan region and was established in March 2002. The festival attracts musicians from countries worldwide, such as Australia, Denmark, United States, Benin, and India. The city has been referenced in numerous songs, including works by Cat Stevens, Kathmandu, Mona Bone Jackin, 1970, Bob Seger, Kathmandu, Beautiful Loser, 1975, Rush, A Passage to Bangkok, Pulling into Kathmandu, 2112, 1976, Crematore, Kathmandu, Three Springs, 2000, Fido Paez, Trafico Por Kathmandu. Traffic through Kathmandu, and Cavalcade, Kathmandu Kid, 2019. Topic: <coughs> Cuisine. The staple food of most people in Kathmandu is dal bhat. This consists of rice and lentil soup, generally served with vegetable curries, akka, and sometimes chutney. Momo, a type of Nepali version of Tibetan dumpling, has become prominent in Nepal with many street vendors and restaurants selling it. It is one of the most popular fast foods in Kathmandu. Various Nepali variants of Momo including buff i.e. buffalo Momo, chicken Momo, and vegetarian Momo are famous in Kathmandu. Most of the cuisines found in Kathmandu are non-vegetarian. However, the practice of vegetarianism is not uncommon, and vegetarian cuisines can be found throughout the city. Consumption of beef is very uncommon and considered taboo in many places. Buff meat of water buffalo is very common. There is a strong tradition of buff consumption in Kathmandu, especially among newers, which is not found in other parts of Nepal. Consumption of pork was considered taboo until a few decades ago. Due to the intermixing with Kirat cuisine from eastern Nepal, pork has found a place in Kathmandu dishes. A fringe population of devout Hindus and Muslims consider it taboo. The Muslims forbid eating buffers from Quran while Hindus eat all varieties except cow's meat as they consider cow to be a goddess and symbol of purity. The chief lunch, snack for locals and visitors is mostly momo or chomian. Kathmandu had only one western-style restaurant in 1955. 
A large number of restaurants in Kathmandu have since opened, catering Nepali cuisine, Tibetan cuisine, Chinese cuisine and Indian cuisine in particular. Many other restaurants have opened to accommodate locals, expatriates, and tourists. The growth of tourism in Kathmandu has led to culinary creativity and the development of hybrid foods to accommodate for tourists such as American chop suey, which is a sweet and sour sauce with crispy noodles with a fried egg commonly added on top and other westernized adaptations of traditional cuisine. Continental cuisine can be found in selected places. International chain restaurants are rare, but some outlets of Pizza Hut and KFC have recently opened there. It also has several outlets of the international ice cream chain Baskin Robbins Kathmandu has a larger proportion of tea drinkers than coffee drinkers. Tea is widely served but is extremely weak by Western standards. It is richer and contains tea leaves boiled with milk, sugar and spices. Alcohol is widely drunk, and there are numerous local variants of alcoholic beverages. Drinking and driving is illegal, and authorities have a zero-tolerance policy. Alar and Thuan alcohol made from rice are the alcoholic beverages of Kathmandu, found in all the local Bhatis alcohol serving eateries. Chiang, Tongba fermented millet or barley, and Rakshi are alcoholic beverages from other parts of Nepal which are found in Kathmandu. However, shops and bars in Kathmandu widely sell Western and Nepali beers. <laughs> Festivals Most of the fairs and festivals in Kathmandu originated in the Mala period or earlier. Traditionally, these festivals were celebrated by Nuas. In recent years, these festivals have found wider participation from other Kathmanduits as well. As the capital of the Republic of Nepal, various national festivals are celebrated in Kathmandu. With mass migration to the city, the cultures of Khas from the west, Kirats from the east, Bont, Tibetan from the north, and Mithila from the south meet in the capital and mingle harmoniously. The festivities such as the Goad Horse Jatra, Indra Jatra, Dash and Durga Puja festivals, Shivratri and many more are observed by all Hindu and Buddhist communities of Kathmandu with devotional fervor and enthusiasm. Social regulation in the codes enacted incorporate Hindu traditions and ethics. These were followed by the Shah kings and previous kings, as devout Hindus and protectors of Buddhist religion. Cultural continuity has been maintained for centuries in the exclusive worship of goddesses and deities in Kathmandu and the rest of the country. These deities include the Ajima, Talaju, or Tolja Bhavani, Digu Talaju, and Kamari the, living goddess. the artistic edifices have now become places of worship in the everyday life of the people, therefore a roster is maintained to observe annual festivals. There are 133 festivals held in the year. Some of the traditional festivals observed in Kathmandu, apart from those previously mentioned, are Bada Dashan, Tiha, Chut, Maggi Sankranti, Naga Panchami, Janai Purnima, Pancha Dan, Tej, Rishi Panchami, Pahan Chahi, Yana Baha Daya Jatra, White Makchendranath Jatra, and Madhatirtha Ornzi. <laughs> Hinduism Assumedly, together with the Kingdom of Lich Havi c. 400-750, Hinduism and the endogam social stratification of the caste was established in Kathmandu Valley. The Pashupatinath Temple, Chungu Narayan Temple the oldest, and the Kastamandap are of particular importance to Hindus. Other notable Hindu temples in Kathmandu and the surrounding valley include Bajrayogini Temple, Dakshinkali Temple, Guhaishwari Temple, and the Soba Bhagwati Shrine. The Bagmati River which flows through Kathmandu is considered a holy river both by Hindus and Buddhists, and many Hindu temples are on the banks of this river. The importance of the Bagmati also lies in the fact that Hindus are cremated on its banks, and Kirants are buried in the hills by its side. According to the Nepali Hindu tradition, the dead body must be dipped three times into the Bagmati before cremation. The chief mourner usually the first son who lights the funeral pyre must take a holy river water bath immediately after cremation. Many relatives who join the funeral procession also take bath in the Bagmati River or sprinkle the holy water on their bodies at the end of cremation as the Bagmati is believed to purify people spiritually. <inaudible> <inaudible> Buddhism Buddhism started in Kathmandu with the arrival of Buddhist monks during the time of Buddha c. They started a forest monastery in Sankhu. This monastery was renovated by Shakyas after they fled genocide from Virudaka rule, 491 BCE. 
During the Hindu Lichchavi era c. 400 to 750, various monasteries and orders were created which successively led to the formation of newer Buddhism, which is still practiced in the primary liturgical language of Hinduism, Sanskrit. Legendary Princess Brakuti (7th century) and artist Araniko (1245 to 1306 CE) from that tradition of Kathmandu Valley played a significant role in spreading Buddhism in Tibet and China. There are over 108 traditional monasteries, Bahals and Baris in Kathmandu based on newer Buddhism. Since the 1960s, the permanent Tibetan Buddhist population of Kathmandu has risen significantly, so that there are now over 50 Tibetan Buddhist monasteries in the area. Also, with the modernization of newer Buddhism, various Theravada Bihars have been established. Kirat Mundam Kirat Mundam is one of the indigenous animistic practices of Nepal. It is practiced by Kirat people. Some animistic aspects of Kirat beliefs, such as ancestor worship, worship of Ajima, are also found in newers of Kirat origin. Ancient religious sites believed to be worshipped by ancient Kirats, such as Pashupatinath, Wangarakash Bhairav, Yalambar, and Ajima are now worshipped by people of all Dharmic religions in Kathmandu. Kirats who have migrated from other parts of Nepal to Kathmandu practice Mundam in the city. <laughs> Others Sikhism is practiced primarily in Gurudwara at Kapundol. An earlier temple of Sikhism is also present in Kathmandu which is now defunct. Jainism is practiced by a small community. A Jain temple is present in Gyanishwar, where Jains practice their faith. According to the records of the Spiritual Assembly of the Baharis of Nepal, there are approximately 300 Baharis in Kathmandu Valley. They have a national office in Shantinagar, Banishwar. The Baharis also have classes for children at the National Center and other localities in Kathmandu. Islam is practiced in Kathmandu but Muslims are a minority, accounting for about 4.2% of the population of Nepal. It is said that in Kathmandu alone there are 170 Christian churches. Christian missionary hospitals, welfare organizations, and schools are also operating. Nepali citizens who served as soldiers in Indian and British armies, who had converted to Christianity while in service, on return to Nepal continue to practice their religion. They have contributed to the spread of Christianity and the building of churches in Nepal and in Kathmandu, in particular. Education The oldest modern school in Nepal is Durba High School, and the oldest college, Tri Chandra College, are both in Kathmandu City. The largest according to number of students and colleges, oldest and most distinguished university in Nepal is in Kurdipur and is called Tribhuvan University. The second largest university, Kathmandu University is in Dulakil, Kava on the outskirts of Kathmandu. It is the second oldest university in Nepal, established in November 1991. Not surprisingly the best schools and colleges of Nepal are located in Kathmandu and its adjoining cities. Every year thousands of students from all over Nepal arrive at Kathmandu to get admission in the various schools and colleges. One of the key concerns of educationists and concerned citizens is the massive outflux of students from Nepal to outside Nepal for studies. Every year thousands of students apply for no objection certificates for studying abroad. Consultancy firms specializing in preparing students to go abroad can be found in all prominent locations. The reason for such an outflux range from perceived low quality of education, political instability, less opportunities in job market, opportunities of earning while learning abroad and better job prospects with an international degree. <laughs> <laughs> Medical colleges Institute of Medicine, the Central College of Tribhuvan University is the first medical college of Nepal and is in Maharajganj, Kathmandu. It was established in 1972 and started to impart medical education from 1978. Other major institutions include Patan Academy of Health Sciences, Kathmandu Medical College, Nepal Medical College, KIST Medical College, Nepal Army Institute of Health Sciences, National Academy of Medical Sciences NAMS, and Kathmandu University School of Medical Sciences KUSMS, are also in or around Kathmandu. Sports 
Football and cricket are the most popular sports among the younger generation in Nepal and there are several stadiums in the city. The sport is governed by the National Sports Council from its headquarters in Kathmandu. The only international football stadium in the city is the Dasarath Rangasala Stadium, a multi-purpose stadium used mostly for football matches and cultural events, in the neighborhood of Tripureshwar. It is the largest stadium in Nepal with a capacity of 25,000 spectators, built in 1956. Martyrs Memorial League is also held in this ground every year. The stadium was renovated with Chinese help before the eight South Asian Games were held in Kathmandu and had floodlights installed. Kathmandu is home to the oldest football clubs of Nepal such as RCT, Sankata and NRT. Other prominent clubs include MMC, Mahindra FC, Tribhuvan Army Club and MPC. Kathmandu is also home of some of the oldest cricket clubs in Nepal, such as Yengal Sports Club. Kathmandu has the only recognized international cricket ground in the country, two cricket ground at the Tribhuvan University in Kirtipur. The Mulpani Cricket Stadium is the under-construction cricket stadium in Mulpani, Kathmandu which will be the largest cricket stadium in the country with capacity of 30,000. Kathmandu Kings XI represents Kathmandu in Everest Premier League, an international stadium for swimming events is in Satdarbato, Lalitpur, near Kathmandu. The ANFA Technical Football Center is just adjacent to this stadium. Transport. The total length of roads in Nepal is recorded to be 17182 kilometers 10676 miles as of 2003-04. This fairly large network has helped the economic development of the country particularly in the fields of agriculture, horticulture, vegetable farming, industry and also tourism. In view of the hilly terrain, transportation takes place in Kathmandu are mainly by road and air. Kathmandu is connected by the Tribhuvan Highway to the south, Prithvi Highway to the west and Araniko Highway to the north. The BP Highway, connecting Kathmandu to the eastern part of Nepal is under construction. The main international airport serving Kathmandu and thus Nepal is the Tribhuvan International Airport, about 6 km from the city center. Operated by the Civil Aviation Authority of Nepal it has two terminals, one domestic and one international. At present, about 26 international airlines connect Nepal to other destinations in Europe, Asia and the Middle East, to cities such as Istanbul, Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Kolkata, Singapore, Bangkok, Kuala Lumpur, Dhaka, Paro, Lhasa, Chengdu, and Guangzhou. Since 2013, Turkish Airlines connects Istanbul to Kathmandu. Oman Air also connects Muscat to Kathmandu since 2010. Regionally, several Nepali airlines operate from the city, including Buddha Air, Nepal Airlines and Yeti Airlines, to other major towns across Nepal. Saji Yatayat provides regular bus services throughout Kathmandu and the surrounding valley. Other bus companies including micro bus companies operate several unscheduled routes. Trolleybuses used to operate on the route between Tripureshwa and Surya Binik on a 13 km route. Topic. Ropeways Ropeways are another important transportation means in hilly terrain. A ropeway operated between Kathmandu and Hetada over a length of 43 km 27 miles, which carried 25 tons of goods per hour. It has since been discontinued due to poor carrying capacity and maintenance issues. During the Rana period, a ropeway was constructed between Kathmandu then to Dorsing of over 22 km 14 miles in length, which carried cargo of 8 tons per hour. Now there is a cable car operated in Kathmandu in Chandragiri Hills. <laughs> <laughs> Healthcare Healthcare in Kathmandu is the most developed in Nepal, and the city and surrounding valley is home to some of the best hospitals and clinics in the country. Burr Hospital is the oldest, established in July 1889 by Burr Shamsha Jang Bahadur Rana. Notable hospitals include Burr Hospital, Nepal Medical College and Teaching Hospital Jorpati, Tribhuvan University Institute of Medicine Teaching Hospital, Patan Hospital, Kathmandu Model Hospital, Shia Memorial Hospital, Om Hospital, Norvik Hospital, Grand International Hospital, Nobel Hospital and many more. 
The city is supported by specialist hospitals, clinics such as Shahid Shukra Tropical Hospital, Shahid Gangalal Foundation, Kathmandu Veterinary Hospital, Nepal Eye Hospital, Kanti Children's Hospital, Nepal International Clinic, Travel and Mountain Medicine Center, Neuro Center, Spinal Rehabilitation Center and Bhaktapur Cancer Hospital. Most of the general hospitals are in the city center, although several clinics are elsewhere in Kathmandu district. Tilganga Institute of Ophthalmology is an ophthalmological hospital in Kathmandu. It pioneered the production of low-cost intraocular lenses IOLs, which are used in cataract surgery. The team of Dr. Sanduk Ruit in the same hospital pioneered sutureless small incision cataract surgery SICS, a technique which has been used to treat 4 million of the world's 20 million people with cataract blindness. Media. Kathmandu is the television hub of Nepal. Nepal Television, established in 1985, is the oldest and most watched television channel in Nepal, as is government-owned NTV2 Metro, Channel Nepal, Image Channel, Kantipur Television, Sagamatha TV, Himalayan Television and other channels. The headquarters of many of the country's news outlets are also in the city including Kathmandu Tribune, the government-owned Gorkha Patra, the oldest national daily newspaper in Nepal, the Kathmandu Post, Nepali Times, Kantipur Publications and its paper Kantipur, Naya Patrika the largest selling Nepali language paper, the Himalayan Times, the largest selling English broadsheet in Nepal, Karabar Economic Daily and Arthak Abhiyan National Daily are the only economic daily in Nepal and Yana Asthar National Weekly. Nepal Republic Media, the publisher of My Republica, joined a publishing alliance with the International Herald Tribune IHT, to publish the Asia-Pacific edition of IHT from Kathmandu from 20 July 2011. There is a state-run national news agency RSS. Radio Nepal is a state-run organization which operates national and regional radio stations. These stations are, Hits FM Nepal, HBC 94 FM, Radio Sagamatha, Kantipur FM and Image FM. The BBC also has an FM broadcasting station in Kathmandu. Among them small part of FM radio come from community radio station, that are Radio Pradibod FM. 102.4 MHz, Radio Upachaka 87.6 MHz etc. International relations and organizations Kathmandu Metropolitan City KMC, in order to promote international relations has established an International Relations Secretariat IRC. KMC's first international relationship was established in 1975 with the city of Eugene, Oregon, United States. This activity has been further enhanced by establishing formal relationships with eight other cities, Motsumoto City Nagano Prefecture, Japan, Rochester New York State, U.S., Yangon formerly Rangoon, Myanmar, Xi'an Shaanxi, China, Minsk Belarus, and Pyongyang North Korea. KMC's constant endeavor is to enhance its interaction with SAARC countries, other international agencies and many other major cities of the world to achieve better urban management and developmental programs for Kathmandu. Kathmandu is home to several international and regional organizations, including the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation SAARC. International Buddhist Meditation Center operates in Kathmandu. Topic Twin towns, sister cities Kathmandu is twinned with Notable people Prithvi Narayan Shah Bimson Tapa Amar Singh Tapa Balbhadra Kunwar Bhakti Tapa Young Bahadur Rana Gehendra Sumsha Tribhuvan Mahendra Barendra Dharma Bhakta Mathama Dashrath Chand Shukaraj Shastri Gangalal Shrestar Anuradha Koirala Mahabir Pun Amrita Akaraya, an actress Hari Bansha Acharya, an actor and comedian Laxmi Prasad Devkota, a writer Paris Kadka, a cricketer Manisha Koirala, an actress Baikantha Manundar, a marathon runner Madan Krishna Shrestar, an actor and comedian Narendra Man Singh, a footballer 
Topic. See also. Kathmandu District. Kathmandu Valley.